Wednesday, April 1st, 2020, a date that will probably not go down in history. In the Minecraft world, this day, everything changed. On that fateful day, the infinite snapshot was released, changing Minecraft forever. Say goodbye to the nether that you loved, the end dimension that scared you, and the overworld. And hello to about 2 billion, much improved, brand new dimensions. Yeah, okay, maybe not quite. How's it going, elites? It's me, your boy Waddles. Welcome to Infinite Survival Episode 1, a brand new series from yours truly. Before we jump in, two big things. Big, big thank you for 400k subscribers. Big hype, elites. Seriously, it's super exciting. And secondly, if you're hyped for this brand new series, let me know by dropping a like on this video right now. Now, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about the series in the video today, so don't worry. But uh, for now, we're going to just go ahead and jump right into things. Here we are in the 20W14 Infinite Snapshot. Time to create a brand new survival world. So, create new. We're we're gonna go ahead and go with a completely random seed we're gonna call the world infinite survival uh game mode survival more world options i don't think we need to change any of this going with the default world let's go ahead hit create new world and now we need to hope that we don't get an island in the ocean because if we do this is going to be bad this is going to make the series very very hard what do we have we have um Okay, okay, uh, uh, this is this is passable. This is definitely passable. We have a desert. Nice. Okay, wait, where, where are the clouds? Hold on. Okay, that's better. That makes, makes it feel like home. So this is... Uh, this is actually going to be really hard. <laughs> We're in the middle of a desert. There is nothing here. Let's try that again. Boom. Here we go. Random seed. Look at We were never in a desert. I don't know. It must have been hallucinating. Uh, we are clearly in a taiga forest biome for the start of this brand new series. I'm super hyped for this series. I'm super, super hyped. But before we do anything, the settings for this series, vanilla Minecraft, uh, infinite snapshot, hard difficulty, random seed. Okay. So hard difficulty. Boom. We're good to go. Now we can punch our first tree and ooh, uh, whatever I do this in a new world, it's such a good feeling like i feel a bunch of nostalgia but like at the same time it's it's not really nostalgia because this is a brand new world but i don't know one of the best feelings in the world now because we are in a taiga biome at the start we actually have an advantage we could maybe find some sweet berry bushes and use those for food in today's episode in today's episode we have three main goals fbb are the goals you know what i mean gamers you know what i mean Okay, maybe you don't know what I mean. FBB, food, bed, base. Those are the three things that we need to accomplish in today's episode. Now, this series is going to be completely separate from the Minecraft Guide. The Minecraft Guide series of mine is definitely not over. So don't worry. If you're a fan of that series, that series is still uh, the main series. This is like... This is like a side series, pretty much. I'll be posting it once, maybe twice a week, depending on how much support the series gets and how much you guys want to see. So let's do that early game thing. We craft some sticks and then we back out of the table because I need more wood. <laughs> we need a pickaxe, just a pickaxe though. That's right, go in pro mode here. And then the crafting table, you can come with me, my friend. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, okay, cave already. This is this is amazing. I swear. I promise this is a random seed uh, Nice, okay. We have a forest over here, too, which is really really cool, but uh, I think we better start moving We need we need some stone. Let's go ahead and take this stone right here So uh, thing number one that I'm heavily highly concerned about a bed We really do need a bed and then thing number two food the base We can figure that out last in today's episode. Not that big of a deal. Uh, how much stone do I need? I think I need like 10, right? Is Or maybe it's like 12 for a full set of stone tools. But then again, do I need a full set of stone tools? Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll go ahead and make them anyways. I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? Uh, stone sword right there. Boom, that'll help us get the bed. Then we need uh, this. We, we need a pickaxe and an axe. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually pass up on the hole in the shovel for now. I don't think I have much of a use for those quite yet. So, hey, <laughs> food, uh, this is beautiful, this is good, this is really, really good, but honestly, 
maybe maybe we're gonna try and level things up because that was almost like too easy for the food so maybe we try and just jump all the way up to cows today which means i need seeds so i have to start punching all of these ferns right off the bat so i can get seeds here uh yeah there we go that's perfect that's exactly what we need uh how about some more though i, I need more than i need more than two seeds uh, okay okay i guess uh yeah three that, that'll be good hey oh i think that's pam oh oh pam is angry what are you angry at not the fox not the fox no 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 no, no. i'm sorry this was never pam not you two no, no 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 not the foxes we're not taking out the foxes okay so what do we have here we have a dark oak forest that's great uh hello dog we will come back for you and then a pig over there that's great that's nice we'll take these poppies for a bed but now i need to find sheep and i need to find them fast well not really at the same time we have like half a day left and if it comes to it we can definitely hide in a hole that would be completely fine uh sheep right over there never mind never mind i would never hide in a hole it definitely couldn't make a dirt hut either you uh, thank you very much how about you two uh thank you for your services and finally oh wow would you take a look at that food check bed almost check of course, we're going to go ahead and do the OG move. We need the red bed right off the bat, 100%. Crafting table, boom. A spruce blanks and red bed. This is amazing and the only way to do it. If anybody else does it differently, including myself, well, they're wrong. That's the only bed that I know. Okay, so that's good. Now it's time to actually settle down. So we need to find a location for a base and uh, i have a really good idea there's been this trend in the community lately thanks to hermitcraft called hobbit holes now i'm thinking about a cave base this time around but at the same time uh i'm not 100 sure yet i think what we will do though is a cave base because that will save a whole lot of time now the point of this series is to take things a little bit faster and of course dimension hop dimension travel check out the new uh, strange features so i haven't said quite yet but infinite survival is all about the infinite dimension mechanic in this series the goal is to uh, work up to another portal get some written books and start dimension hopping traveling getting the good stuff i know one dimension that i definitely want to go to but if you guys know good dimensions drop them down in the comments below y you have to say exactly what you write in the written book and the name of the written book for it to work so uh drop that down in the comments below and we'll get to it within a few episodes the plan for the series is to move things a little bit quicker than the minecraft guide in fact a whole lot quicker my my words elytra episode five hey <laughs> okay i don't know about that but i don't know about that but we're gonna move things a whole lot quicker in this series now i do have one other big rule for this series this series is being recorded in the 20w14 infinite snapshot which uh, means we actually have access to some of the nether update features which is really really cool but uh we cannot make a base in the nether no nether base we can go into the nether that's fine but we can't make our home there otherwise uh things are going to be spoiled for me uh like when the update actually releases and it, it just won't be as exciting so we're gonna be in the nether a little bit but also not not a lot at the same time i really don't want to to be there too much now i'm kind of looking around here and i'm thinking that that hill right over there might be kind of perfect for our base so we're gonna go ahead and craft a boat right here and then sail over there and check it out is that water sound new by the way um is it the sailman are, are you guys dancing creating that noise i think it's gotta be right um you guys are loud <laughs> you're way too loud for me i'm gonna go ahead and leave and go this way Ooh, but what's over there that looks really cool too oh the big trees do we have like a flower forest biome if we have a flower forest biome it doesn't look like it but if we had one i would totally live in it that would be really cool that would be a different surrounding a different setting a plains biome right there that would be good for farming maybe this maybe this hill is is my hill actually because we have lots of open area for for farming and building even though we're not going to really build a city this time because uh yeah that takes a lot of time i'm not trying to use like a bunch of episodes building buildings this time around we're trying to do things move things you know be quick be be fancy oh look at the big mountain over there Ooh, that might be perfect but 
Uh, I think I like this vibe a little bit better. This is really cool. Like, we could do a little bit of terraforming out here. Get some farms going, like a wheat field. A little bit of dirt going over, like a dock over there to go off into the water. Sail around. Ooh, I think this is the base location, Elites. I think this is going to be it. And we have a bunch of sheep as well, which is really, really cool. So, let's actually go ahead and do a little bit of planting right here. Because if we can't have a cow farm, we can at least have a sheep crusher farm. Not the best thing in the world. Definitely not going to help us get uh, leather. Not at all. But it's something. Raw mutton is pretty good in terms of food. So what we're going to do is till this. This is the farm right here. Squid, you better not mess this up. I don't know if they can. But there we go. That's going to go ahead and start growing. And while that's growing, we're going to take the crafting table with us and actually go back over to where I'm thinking about putting the base, which is this hill, and actually break ground on the base, the official long-term base in episode one. So remember how I neglected that shovel before? Well, shovel, it's your time to shine because we have lots of work to do. Uh, I'm thinking that we can just basically dig this out here. We'll have to terraform this a little bit to make it more of a, a workable, passable hill. But uh, we can basically start by hollowing this area out. And then our base, it, it can go probably like downwards into the world. Like, like we do a staircase and multiple levels of basements because this hill is not the biggest hill in the world. So I think that's what we're going to probably have to do. But I definitely need to start by clearing out a lot of land, a, a lot of space, at least for an entry room. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and sleep, and then I think, I think we're gonna time travel. So, uh, watch this. Boom. How did he do it? No clue. I, I wouldn't be able to say, but the terraforming is done. This is what we'll be working with, uh, for our base, at least for now. Now, let me, uh, give you the house tour. So, outside, this is what we have, and then inside... Uh, this gigantic room. <laughs> okay, well, it's maybe not, not too gigantic, but I think this will definitely do for a starter base. This will be good. I'm um, thinking later on we'll come back in here and do, like, maybe, like, windows and uh, cool things. Uh, maybe something on top, everything like that. Uh, we'll, we'll make it look really good, but... Uh, I was about to, like, cover it up, you know, put a roof on it, but then I realized that it would get really dark in here and take a look at the inventory. I, uh, I haven't found any coal quite yet, so I think we're gonna actually need to go ahead and make a, our very first chest in the world right there, and I, I guess we should just put it inside the house, we'll break it in, uh, we'll just put it over here for now, and then, uh, we need to drop off our stuff, and at the start of the next day... Um, so almost, we need to actually go find a cave and find at least a little bit of coal so we can finish up the house and then maybe even, maybe even some iron as well. If I could get enough iron for one hopper, I could actually set up the sheep farm right now, which would be really, really big. That would be huge. And, uh, the next episode we could come back, make the house look good and actually focus on getting diamonds or something cool like that. So I'm going to go ahead and throw everything extra inside of this chest for now. Maybe we'll keep the stone on us. The wood can stay here for sure and then these four spruce saplings let's go maybe i guess i don't know um it's gonna turn the ground into pods all let's go maybe like way over here and plant a giant tree and by the way take a look at who i found i trapped them in a boat uh we're, we're gonna we're gonna use them in a little bit and then on top of uh the house there's another thing trapped except that thing is a wolf which is really really dangerous that that could completely destroy all of the sheep in this area so i decided to just trap it I, I think I'm going to try and make it our friend uh, a little later on, but I don't have the bones right now, so it's just going to live up there inside of that box for a little while. Uh, s sorry. <laughs> sorry, Wolf. I've also made some gigantic expansions to our farm. I, I'm sure you are very impressed by it. Lots of sweet berries for now. It, it's not the best, it, but but it'll work. It, it'll be enough to get us to a cave and hopefully to, to get us with some coal as well. So let's go ahead and make a shovel because why not? I've already wrote uh, the base coordinates down. I have that. We'll go ahead and leave the starter pickaxe here. And now it's cave time. So... I'd like to actually see what's in this forest behind us. Let's go ahead and start by going this way and see if we can find a cave over here. If not, we'll go over to the plains biome and check that out. But I, I think the forest might be a little bit more interesting because we have that mountain biome over there too. Maybe we get lucky and find a, like a cave in the side of the mountain. 
Uh, that could be cool. I'd rather not climb the mountain, though, and walk around up there. I mean, I know we could find coal on the surface, like maybe if there's a low part of the mountain, but climbing a mountain, I don't know if I feel like doing that today, if I'm being honest. Maybe it's, like, a little silly, but, like, yeah, I, I just don't want to climb that thing today, so... Uh, we'll, we'll try and stay low down here. We're looking for just any hole in the ground. Something like, no, not like that. Um, uh, well, actually, there could be coal. Oh, there is coal right there. Look at that. Look at that. That's great. That's great. Okay, so this is going to be great for coal. Do we have any iron back here, too? Are we going to get, like, really lucky? Uh, no. No iron. But coal, that's fine. That's good. That means we can make some torches and maybe actually find at least the entrance to a cave so we can come back we need a, a good lead on some diamonds and a cave that would be a great lead potentially uh but iron too i really really now that i said it would love to find some iron so we can uh start the whole sheep uh farming process that would be great so uh coal uh, how much do we get we, oh there's more awesome okay okay we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take all of this right now we need everything that we can get all right so the grand total is 20 not the best but better than what we had for sure that's nice that's good now uh let's go ahead and continue heading this way we're just gonna walk to conserve food and hunger um but then we hit the mountain so uh i think the plan here is uh to take these sheep out i definitely won't need these sheep i'd like to have an extra bed just in case we need to go a little farther than i expected uh any caves though no a chicken very cool you sorry sheep sorry and uh yeah there's 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 not there's a little more coal over there but uh yeah nothing this way okay let's go back over to that plains biome oh wait a second i was going back to my to my base i almost passed this uh there's a cave right here actually so first torches let's make some of those things we'll just use that many that's good what do we have in here do we have anything good no it, it does not look like it uh but actually maybe maybe this goes somewhere uh okay no it doesn't no, we're, we're gonna take these torches back uh this is cool though this is really really close to the base uh doesn't seem to be a lead on anything though uh maybe we come back and like take stone from here but we're probably going to be pretty stocked up on stone that's a big advantage of a cave base we're going to be digging a lot and that means we're going to get a lot of blocks we won't be using those blocks on buildings so that means we're going to have a lot of blocks too yeah which is something i definitely definitely like the sounds of this time around let's go ahead and make uh bed number two uh, just in case and then get some more food and then we'll head back out and would you take a look at this uh, wheat number one is ready to go we'll go ahead and harvest that uh replant always always replant and uh we'll, we'll be back for you we're gonna try and stay close so the wheat can keep growing but if we have to go far well then we'll go far <laughs> all right so this plains biome is actually pretty plain uh unless unless oh maybe maybe this is gonna be good maybe okay 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 this looks really good and we are still crazy close uh if i could have like if i could find like 32 iron maybe that's a bit much to ask for but like 32 iron that would be amazing because then we can make a full set of armor and and a hopper okay but this is a big cave okay okay well uh we're gonna have to be very careful here a uh, creeper nope uh that's what i thought that's what i thought oh we can't fall we need to leave a way up um what do i hear walking uh i i oh okay it, it, no way it was the creeper it was probably something on the surface there we go that's good that's fine everything's good uh, we don't need the hole in the hot bar we don't need the shovel either uh let's put that torch back okay the zombie too well not that big okay a skeleton nope 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 i'm out i'm out uh, i'm out uh, i'm not doing that cave we're not doing that cave that's not the way to go not with the skeleton yeah that's just not gonna happen not on day one no definitely not hey cows are over here too and a mega tiger wow that's gonna be cool to explore but uh yeah we're not messing with the skeleton today it's not that i'm afraid it's that the skeleton is concerned you know and they they kind of have a bow i'm at an unfair disadvantage so yeah skeletons definitely not we might have to just come back for the iron a little later on that might have been a little bit of a stretch today i don't know if it would be worth it to make um would it be worth it to make leather armor probably not that's probably a waste of leather 
uh, but it would be worth it to bring some cows back home so you know what that's what we're gonna do instead wheat uh cows hey come with me uh you um you guys yeah 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 okay as many as we can get that would be good do not be concerned by the splashing salmon cows i know it's loud it is very loud but uh don't don't be concerned it's just a noise that the salmon the salmon are doing their thing you wouldn't understand it cows you wouldn't understand it keep coming keep coming i promise i'm not uh luring you to a life of farming i keep coming this way we're almost there we're oh you guys can do it you guys can do it nice nicely done nice okay okay so we have a lot of spruce wood from when i uh w was punching trees in the beginning so i think i can afford to make a bunch of fence gates like or fences a bunch of fence gates and fences and pretty much make a little cow farm now the cows are noisy no offense cows so i'm thinking that we'll do it like down the hill maybe right in this area that would be a pretty nice spot but it's gonna have to wait until morning because it's almost nighttime and there's no way in the world that I'm gonna let this roll over into the night. Not at all. Not with our brand new uh, property right there. No way. So let's see. We'll do maybe the corner right there. Uh, excuse me, cow. Uh, it'll go down this way. You know what? We'll, we'll just put this away for now. Uh, the corner will go down this way. We'll do the gate right over here. We'll make a path coming over to it from the entrance of the house. That'll be cool. And uh, maybe we go one more block. And then uh, it'll just go back this way. You know, basic cow pen. And then over here, it'll do, I guess, the same thing. We'll go back this way. And maybe, okay, I need a little bit more. But maybe we'll, we'll actually breed these cows up and use them for food instead of the sheep i mean i like the idea of stocking up on leather anyways we're gonna need to enchant so we can explore the the other dimensions because basically with this infinite dimension stuff uh some dimensions are crazy like we could go into a dimension and there could be like five ender dragons like no lie uh, it, it could be really really dangerous so we're gonna need to be geared up quickly to to be able to actually explore these dimensions and see what we can get hey this way just walk right over nice nice okay you guys will live here perfect uh don't don't worry about it cows and then we're gonna have to terraform this away a little bit more i don't like it when uh creatures can just walk right into the pen that could be a problem so we'll do something like that these trees will have to go because they they just kind of look weird right there um yeah, well, we'll maybe have to just rework on all of that soon, but I think that is actually going to be it for episode one of Infinite Survival Elites. I hope you... Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's one more thing that I have to do. I need to put a roof on this build. But I hope everybody enjoyed episode one. Who's hyped for the series? Let me know down in the comments below and uh, leave a like for part two. If we can pass 5,000 likes, I will make part two sooner than I was planning to. Keep in mind that this series will be posted probably like once, maybe twice a week. It's not the main series here. So, uh, yep, sorry about that. Oh man, I missed it. So sorry about that. But if the series gets enough support, I mean, you never know what could happen. But that is actually going to be just about it for episode one of In infinite survival hope you enjoyed if you did remember to leave a like subscribe so you can follow the series all of my links are down in the description below today i would like to send a big shout out to my patron archangel if you want your own episode dedication your own shout out uh check out my patreon down below the video check out the merch as well until next time stay fresh i'll see you in the next one goodbye everybody